Hi, my name is Ken Colby. I'm the author of Green Screen Wizard. Today I'd like to take a moment to discuss the batch feature of Green Screen Wizard. Now we sell three versions of the program. The first version is called the full version. The second version is called the Pro Studio Editor, which has the new airbrush editor and the cool sandwich overlays. And the third version we sell is called the Pro Batch Event System. Now this pro, system, pro Batch Event System contains a bunch of additional features that are mainly for event photographers and for school photographers that want to batch output. It consists of the event mode, which I'll talk about in another talk, email, batch print, and batch itself. Those are the two tools that are added to the event mode, or to the um, regular uh, studio version. So if you're a studio photographer and you shoot one at a time, this feature is not very useful. Uh, if you're an event photographer, it's indispensable. So that's why we created two versions. Okay, so how does it work? It's pretty simple really. You put your files that you take from a school or, or your team and you put them in a folder. You choose your background and then you run the background process. So let's start by choo choosing a folder. I just happen to have one. Clever me. And it's just got a couple of images in it. Uh, it's in Green Screen Wizard. Batch test. OK. Now it says there's two files to create. Now, if you want to create the same background in every picture, then you don't have to specify a background folder. In fact, you shouldn't. Um, but to show you that we can change it, let's bring in a different image. Okay, so put on the flag. Adjust image. Oops, sorry, I meant tool tab. And there we go. So now we're ready to go, but just so that you understand what we're doing, we're taking the, we're going to be taking all the green screen uh, files images in this folder and then sticking them in, in the output folder so let's take a look at those folders so the batch output folder is empty because we haven't run the process yet and batch test has two images so if all works well we should see an image of the amber and the bride in here on a flag so let's give it a whirl so we start the batch. Takes a second. This little, f well, it happened so fast uh, you didn't even see it. But um, those are the, when that file closes, it means it's done. And also the start batch comes back up. So it's completed the two for two. So let's see. And there's the batch output, just as we would have suspected. We have a bride and amber. Okay, great. Now, one of the cool things about this is you can do this, check this button here. It says keep checking for new files. If you do that, then the program, notice before when, when it created its two files, it just stopped. But now if we start the batch, it's not going to do anything because it already created these two files. But it's basically waiting to see if any new files show up. It's constantly checking that folder. We call that a hot folder. So let's take a look at our folders. Okay, so this is the folder that it's watching. It checks every like uh, half a second to see if there's a new new image in there. So if you had a camera and you had it tethered uh, using a USB cable, you could put the picture in here and it will automatically be processed. We're going to do that process manually by moving good old Leo over there. So we're going to copy him there. And in a few seconds, the program will detect that it's there and we should see output up here. And there he is. Just like we promised. So that's basically the idea of a watch folder and we can do that all day long. Uh, we're going to stop the batch now. And just so that the rest of the presentation is clear, I'm going to go back and uh, erase the output that we created so far. 
Okay. All right, so let's go back to green screen wizard. All right. Now what, uh, and we're going to clear the history. So let's say that we did want to put um, a lot of the same image on a lot of backgrounds. Well, then we do need to specify a background folder. So let's take a look at how that works. So we'll go to my documents and we'll use the eight images that are in the uh, that you get for free when you buy a green screen wizard, the demo images. There. So remember we had three images in here, eight here, so you multiply it together and you get 24. It's as simple as that. And we're not going to keep checking for new files, we'll just start the batch. Now we have a problem though, because we're going to get a lot of files that are basically a combination of, of uh, the foreground and the background. So we have different naming styles. We can combine the file names, which is the default. So this would be like amber gray, amber stars, whatever. It combines the file names. We can just number the files consecutively. Or this is a cool feature, we can split by file where it will create a folder for each of the background files and then preserve the file name and put it inside the folder. So you'd have a flags folder with everybody in it. Or a stars folder and then all the images on the background of stars. Okay. You can, of course, output as a JPEG, PNG file, or TIFF, and you can also output low resolution. So let's take a look at our output. And as I suggested, you can see how this is amber curtains, amber fireplace, etc. And it's just grinding through, and now it's done. Well, almost done. There we go. So it's done its deed and created 24 out of 24. And again, let's just for clarification, let's control A and delete the output. And we'll clear this. And we'll clear the history so we don't have any history to deal with. And now one of the things that confuses people is the concept of the GSW file. So I have created a GSW folder for us. And the problem is, what happens if you want I mean, now we, we can create an image with multiple backgrounds, but what if we wanted to do one image on a magazine cover, another image with a sandwich overlay, and a third image just with text, or whatever? Basically, you can do that using these GSW files, and the way it works is you just go into Green Screen Wizard, you set it up the way you want with the overlays and, and backgrounds and everything else, and then you just save the file to a folder. So in this case, I saved one with the field sandwich overlay and then I just did another one that just said I love green screen wizard. And you don't really have to name these anything special but um, they can be anything you want. Now what's going to happen is we're going to replace the little girl with whatever images are in our folder. So let's see how that works. So first of all I've got to find this folder as a GSW folder. And so I got to go through this my documents, find beautiful green screen wizard, and find that folder, GSW folder. Okay, now we're only going to have six because I have three images up here in my foreground folder and I have two uh, sandwich overlays. And we're going to replace everything and let's start our batch and see if it works. Okay, so here comes Amber, the Bride, Leo, and now each one of those should be output on the um, the I Love Wizard background. So it's a little more complicated to set this up, but uh, it does work and it can be very powerful. So now you can offer people not just various backgrounds, but various complete setups. So let's just check that output, and it's just the way we advertised it. So that's basically the batch uh, features of Green Screen Wizard. It's really a great feature. It's only a $50 upgrade from the Pro Studio to the Pro Batch. Uh, each one of, the, and you get actually 
not only the batch features, but you get batch printing, email, and uh, the event mode. So thank you very much, and uh, I'll have another video to talk about some of the other features. Thanks for your time.